Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and today we are checking out the Two Notes Torpedo Captor X. <laughs> So if you have watched some of my other videos, you may have noticed that I've always used the Torpedo Capture 16, which was a pretty cool device. But now I have upgraded to the Torpedo Capture X and I have to say it's a total game changer. What it allows me to do is to play a cranked tube amp at a low volume without a wheel speaker cabinet. So in this video I don't want to go deep into all the functions of the Capture X, I just want to show you how I use it here in my little studio to record my guitar tracks for the videos. So just let me show you a quick overview of the Captor X and how I have connected it in my setup. So on the front we got three controls on the top, the output level, voicing and space. Down below we got the headphone output, that's pretty useful. And then we got a preset control, so we can save our six favorite presets to the banks one to six and we can switch between them by using this control. On the back we got the power connection, then two XLR outputs, so we can use it stereo. We got the MIDI input, a USB connection, speaker output with an attenuation, and the speaker input. And how I have connected the Captor X is I go with my guitar into some pedals, from there into my amp, in this case my new Marshall Origin 20. From there I go with the speaker output, into the speaker input here. And then I go with two XLR cables into my audio interface so I can use it stereo. So to change and edit the different speaker cabinet presets, you can use the two node software on your computer. So you can simply connect the Captor X via USB to your computer, or you can use the smartphone app as I do. So that's how the interface on your mobile device looks like. The app is connected via Bluetooth to the Captor X. I'm here in one of my personal presets. It's just a 4x12 greenback style speaker with two microphones and a tiny bit reverb. And it sounds like this. And what we can do here is adjust the microphones. So here we got the microphone A, we can move it around how we want it and can choose microphone B and do the same. We can also change the microphones here. We also got a noise gate here on the left. That's pretty cool too. When we swipe to the right, we can adjust some EQ or use an enhancer to shape our tone and add more reverb if you want. And one of the coolest features on this device is the twin tracker. So it basically simulates a double track guitar while you're playing. So I will first show you the sound without the twin tracker again. And now with the twin tracker. Yeah, it's just so much fun to play with that. And as I said, it's one of my favorite features on this device. And I think it could be very useful if you play live too. So let's check out some more other presets. So what we got here. We got here lead warm humbucker. Let's turn on the DS1. So what 
what else we got. Dirty clean 70s plexi, that sounds good. Killer. Let's try that one. Let's add the twin tracker to that. Okay, so now I will save this preset to the bank 6, so go here, save, and now when I go to the Capture X and change the presets, so we go back to 1. got my created preset from the beginning and then we go to six and then we got the modern metal mud killer <laughs> So that function is also very useful, so you can save your favorite six presets to the torpedo and switch between them very easily. So if you want to shape the tone a bit on your preset without using the software, you can use the voicing and the space control on the torpedo. So let's go to preset one. With the voicing control, we can uh, change the mid range. So when we turn it all to the left, like this. We got more mids, so let's hear that. And when we turn it to the white, we got a more mid scoop sound. With the space control you can adjust the amount of reverb. So with that you can wound up your presets to your needs without using the software. So as you can see the Captor X is a very versatile piece of gear with a lot of cool functions. It is and will be one of my main pieces of gear here in my little studio and it allows me to get a very fast workflow when it comes to recording guitars. So I really hope this video was helpful for you and I could show you at least some of the functions of the Captor X. So if you also want to check out this awesome piece of gear, I put some affiliate links down in the video description. So that's a simple way to support my channel. Alright, that was it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Please make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.